Okay, back there, BD1. Hmm. Huh, another one of these. Wonder if they connect. Fall behind me, one. Never seen a storm do that before. Yeah, it's incredible. My friend, I believe this to be the earliest Cepho site we've uncovered yet, despite my reservations. I cannot chase the Bagano vault from my mind. Its vision shaped the direction of an entire culture. I must understand why. Tomb. It's massive. And the Empire? No sign of them down here. What about Cordova? Still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little... Eccentric? Tell me about it. But he wouldn't send us here for his amusement. Keep an open mind. See that? Ugh. Yeah. 
Ugh. Guess a lightsaber can't solve everything. <laughs> Okay, I'll look. Thanks for the help. Focus. The Jedi do not seek aggression, but we stand against it. The Force is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now, try again. Push the ball before it reaches you. Good. Continue. Faster now. Complete the test. It stands in the way. It comes the way. My friend, take a look at the detail on this bark. The distinctive striations. It can only be a Rosha tree from Kashyyyk. It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zepho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarfel will know about it. Yeah! <laughs> 
was deliberately destroyed. I can still feel the hate of the act. Eighty-one. Guardian was destroyed long ago. Hey! Did you find something, BD1? Come here, BD-1. BD-1. Find. The Zephyr went to Kashyyyk. Cordova mentioned someone named Tarful. Ah, a Wookiee chieftain. They were old friends. Think he's still around? There's only one way to find out. 
We have to go to Kashyyyk. Just open the way for the Empire. Strange feeling from this one. Ancient Zepho gathered here. I wonder why. Check it out. Well done. 
Time for a stim. He was killed by a cave-in. Imperial excavation is making these tunnels unstable. dig site. They got a lot further than we thought. We can't worry about that now. The Empire's identified you as the Jedi from Bracca. They're searching for the Mantis as we speak. Can't you move the Mantis? It's too risky to start the engine. Its power discharge will draw their attention immediately. I'll be back as fast as I can. We've got a walker firing on us, and our weapons are down. Is that him? Tell him he better get his butt. Hold on. I'm on my way. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho Sage. 
they definitely used the Force. An advanced civilization of Force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk, I, look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. Oh. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. Rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Well, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the purge started and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan, Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. But they caught me. And they tortured me. I wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. Yeah. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. <laughs> 